what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Karen strikes again. This time, we have one who bullied her way into a kid's birthday party. They say she went off, started swinging on folks because she didn't like the idea of a clown dancing in her neighborhood. Why fam? I need my white people that, that are subscribers to the channel. Tell me, please. Can you give me some insight? All I can do is speculate. You are living in that skin. You are around them every single day. I'm sure you have better insight than I have. Give me something. Give me an angle. Maybe I've already mentioned why it happens and why I think it is that they do this stuff. But if you can give me an angle, perhaps you can reveal something that I don't know. And then after you reveal that, perhaps you can do something about it. Because that's what it's going to take. It is going to take a combination, actually, of white people checking white people and those whom they violate also needs to check them. And I mean, check them hard. This woman rolled through like a steamroller, uninvited, swinging on everybody. This is a kid's party, fam. You know what? It doesn't matter if it was a kid's party or not, but it being a kid's party, man, you know, that's extra personal. You know, you might be able to mess with me a little bit and I might be able to take a little something extra, but you can't never, ever, ever mess with my babies. This woman ruined whose ever child that was birthday party. Ruined it. She was filming and somebody tried to knock her phone out of her hand. Well, they, they did. And she threw a punch. Then some dude walked up to her. She threw another punch. He countered. But it lacked luster. Wasn't, wasn't anything on the punch. There is no way she should have walked out of that party. Paramex should have been called. If not worse. This woman went there looking for trouble. You don't get to start a fight and get empathy. I have no empathy for people who actually starts fights. Now, the trip part about it is the DJ the whole time was saying, leave her alone, leave her alone, leave her alone, leave her alone, leave her alone. <laughs> and then there was some dude helped her off the ground. Helped her off the ground. Family, we are too damn nice to people who are mean to us to people who are evil to us, to people who want to cause us harm. Way too nice as a people. What do you think would have happened if a black woman would have went to a white kid's party uninvited and started swinging on people, telling people to shut the party down? They don't like the clown dancing. Shut it down. Swinging on people. What do you think would have happened? probably would have got lynched. You understand what I'm saying? Why can't we have the same energy for those who bring harm to us? I don't understand it. I just don't get it. Well, I'm gonna give you what you give me. If somebody come to my kids party, well, my kids are grown now, but if they had come to my kids' party, to my house especially, 
trying to break up the party? Talk about a rude awakening. Oh, man. Oh, this is going on the news for certain. This is going to be one of the most memorable events of your life if you were there. Absolutely. This is going to be one of those, Willie, remember that time? <laughs> she, for real. She got off way too easy. Yeah, they, you know, they threw a couple punches on her, whatever, knocked her down and all that stuff. But man, she got off way too easy. They got to start having some fear of consequences. Or else, this is going to continue. This is what makes them want to do it in the first place. Every time they get away with it, unscathed, it emboldens them. And it emboldens the next one. The next one see it. Oh, they scared. Oh, you know, because I'm going to tell you something, man. I think it's really human nature to be a bully. People tend to bully people. Even people who aren't even fighters. If they see somebody weak, oftentimes they'll try to bully them. We live in a bully culture. America is a bully. The whole country founded on bullying. This is why bullying is such a problem in America, at the schools. It starts in the schools. The kids who bully at schools, in school, become the adults who bully in the workplace. And sometimes the kids who get bullied become the bullies when they get the power in the workplace and especially on the police force. So what is the answer, fam? There's only one plausible answer. You got to put it on them because they don't understand anything else. They think it's sweet. When it stopped being sweet, that's when you'll see it slow down drastically. But there's always going to be an exception. Some fool is always going to try. And then what you do, you make an example out of them. And then the rest of them be like, well, you know what? I don't think that's a good idea. I can guarantee you. They start getting it, man. I can guarantee you. Oh, that'll stop. Somebody else saw her go to that party and cause all that drama and walk out almost unscathed, that's going to embolden them. Why would she do that in the first place? Because her ass is miserable. She has no life. She's one of those type of people who, when they see black people happy, they get upset. They feel like when black people are happy, then it's a bad situation for them. If black people are winning, they are losing somehow. Right now, if a job report came out right at this moment and said black unemployment is down by three points, they would translate that into, well, white unemployment must be down by six points. They always... These type of people have that attitude that a black person's gain is a loss for them. When they see black people happy, just like the woman uh, with the barbecue thing in the, in, in the park. They see black people smiling and happy, minding their own business. They got to come through and shake it up and do something to disturb the peace. There has to be something sadistically wrong with you to see people having a good time and you become angry. Back to the guy who put his hands on Karen. Family, I am vehemently against a man putting his hands on a woman. The only time I would do such a thing is when I'm caressing her. In any event, that was no woman. That was an uncivilized beast. 
No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?